This is counter.java. As promised, it's a pretty simple class. Basically, it just contains an integer and has two little functions, one that'll return the integer and one that'll increment it. Sessionkeeper.java is pretty much what was displayed in the previous slide. If there is no session or if there's no counter associated with the session, it creates a new counter, it increments the counter, and then down here at the bottom, it simply prints it out. It also prints out the status, whether or not the session is new or old, and in case anyone is interested, it also prints out the session ID itself to the screen. Only other interesting thing is it also takes a variable called invalidate. If invalidate is set to true, then it will basically just invalidate the session using the session.invalidate function. So that's the code. Let's see how it works in a browser. As you can see, new session was created because this is my first time visiting the page. Visited the page one time. There's my session ID. As I refresh the page, you'll obviously see the counter go up, and my session ID stays the same. 